Hey, for this video, what I wanted to do was to show you how to use synthetic division. Um, for this one, this time it doesn't go down in order of descending exponents, so it goes 4, 3. It's missing the x squared term, so you always want to make sure that you watch for that and ask yourself, does it go down in descending order of exponents? If you are missing something, you do have to put a 0 in there because you really have 0 x squareds. Um, you have to have it as a placeholder. Otherwise, like if you were doing long division, it's easier to see. Otherwise, if I tried to multiply x times um, my x term and I got x squared, I wouldn't be able to add it to my linear term. So that's why we have to put that in there. Um, and with this one, what we're going to do, again, we're going to use synthetic division. I typically use synthetic division if the leading coefficient of what I'm dividing by is 1. If it's not a 1, sometimes I just use long division, but I will show you how to do that um, just in case you're in that situation and you do want to see what synthetic division looks like. So remember what we do is we take this value here and we change the sign, and that's the number that goes on the outside. So I would put the 1 on the outside. And then inside of the parentheses, I would do the 2, the negative 2. I do have to have the 0, the negative 9, and the positive 9. And then what we're going to do is remember that we just drop down our first value, and then we multiply. So 1 times 2 would give me 2, and then I add and I get 0. In this case, because I have 1 times 0, this is 0, it really doesn't impact it very much, but there are times that this does um, cause a large difference. Um, and so if you forget that 0, it will cause a problem. And then I would have 1 times 0 again, which is 0, which gives me negative 9, and 1 times negative 9 um, gives me negative 9. So this one happens to have a remainder of 0. That tells me that this value right here is a factor. So if you end up with a 0 as the remainder, that tells you that this is a factor of the other polynomial. So x minus 1 is a factor of 2x to the 4th minus 2x cubed minus 9x plus 9. That means if I take this x minus 1 times my polynomial that I get from the answer and multiply them together, it would give me this um, polynomial that I started with. Remember that these are the coefficients of the answer matrix, sorry, not the matrix, um, the answer polynomial, wrong type of math. So what we're going to do is we always go down by one degree of exponents because I divided um, out 1x, so we would start with 2x cubed. You can write the 0x squared, but we don't need to, so I have 0x squared 0x minus 9 and a remainder of 0, so this would be my final answer. Um, so this would be my quotient. This one would have a remainder of 0. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.